you're very welcome to this video. And this is our first video in our series for saving and borrowing for junior cycle business based on learning outcome 1.5 of the junior cycle specification. And in this video today, what we are going to learn about is what saving is and the reasons why we save and the fact you should consider when saving money. So firstly, what do we think saving is? Pause the video there and have a think about as to what you think saving actually means. When you're ready, press play to continue. So our definition for saving is the part of our income that we choose not to spend now, but to keep to use at a later date. So, break that down then. Okay, so our income is the money that we earn. So it's the part of the money that we earn that we don't spend now, but that we're keeping to use to spend at another point in the future. So maybe we want to buy something big in the future uh, and we're gonna waste, you're gonna need more money for it then. So let's say for example, I want to buy a car in the future uh, or I want to buy a house, a deposit house, or I want to go on holiday. Obviously my income from that month isn't going to cover those big expenses so therefore I'm going to put a little bit away every month so I can afford those bigger things in the future okay so can um what I want you to do now is I want you to pause the video and have a think of why do people save money and uh, this is many reasons you possibly can and then when you're ready give yourself 30 seconds press play to continue so here are just some of the reasons why people save money, okay? So to start, buy something big in the future, for example, a new laptop there. So see the picture there, there's a lovely new Mac there. Well, that's an iMac, but you know, something big is gonna cost a fair few quid that you're not gonna be able to afford on your normal monthly income. Well, most people can't anyway, okay? To earn additional income through interest or savings. So when you put your money into a savings account, can you remember the name of the account that you put for your savings in? Yes, it's a deposit account, okay? Well done. So if you um, put your money in a deposit account, you earn interest on that, okay? So people might have a bit of spare money and want to earn a bit of money off it. To have a deposit to buy a house. What do I mean by a deposit to buy a house? So if I want to buy a house, I just can't go into the bank and go, hey, bank, give me a loan for the entire price of the house. Um, what's the name of a loan for a house, by the way? Can you remember? Mm. That's right, it was a mortgage. Good job. Okay, so in order to buy a house, I need to have a certain amount of the value of the house saved up before the bank will give me a loan. Usually, if you're a first time buyer, you have to have 10% of the property, or if you're buying a, if you're moving home and buying your second house, so to speak, you need to have 20% of the value of the property saved up as a deposit, as they call it. Okay, for a future event, for example, if you're heading off on your holidays in the summer, might be going on your holidays at the moment, but uh, if you're going on your holidays, you don't have to have money saved up to that, so you have a few spending money so you can go out and spoil yourself. And then for unforeseen events such as emergencies, okay, because you never know what's going to happen when, you need to have a few quid there in the bank, we call it a rainy day fund, as they say. And also for retirement, eventually you'll come to a fine, ripe old age where you're not going to work anymore and you want to have money there to enjoy yourself thereafter. Okay, so next up what I want you to do is I want you to think about the facts to consider when you're saving money. So you're about to go saving, what should you be thinking about before you put your money somewhere to save? Pause the video, have a think about it. when you're ready, press play to continue. So, the safety, how safe is your money, okay? Is the financial institution, we looked at that in the last series, um, and if not, have a look back in that video there now, how likely is the financial institution to close down and take all your money and you end up losing everything? Is your money actually guaranteed if something was to happen to that, uh, to that institution? Income, how much interest are you going to earn by having your savings in there, okay? Taxation, how much dirt will you have to pay? Dirt stands for, does anyone know what dirt stands for? Deposit interest retention tax, okay? So it's a tax on the interest uh, that you pay, that you earn on your savings, I should say, okay? Convenience, is it easy to withdraw your money when you want or is there a delay? So with some saving accounts, once you put the money in, you can't actually take the money out uh, unless a very specified period, say for example, once a year, whereas uh, other savings accounts let you take the money out whenever. Why would you want an account where you can't take your money out, you might say? Well, in some cases, savings accounts might give you a higher interest rate then. Okay, if you let the bank keep the money for a prolonged periods of time. Also, it might be a discipline thing to stop you from wanting to, you know, take money away from uh, your savings. Internet access as well. Can you access your savings online? So, for example, through the internet banking or through phone banking, for example. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the day's video, folks, where we now learned what savings is, the reasons for savings, and the facts considering saving money. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a like. Um, and please, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching. Hope we see you in the next video. Bye now.